Hello everyone, in my last video I showed a setup for SL100 money back duplication for single star use. The strat has already been used by Parsi to improve the SL100 record by over 8 seconds, which is huge in single star. As I mentioned towards the end, I wanted to spend some time analyzing the second cloning phase to see which approaches are best. I simulated billions of instances of the second cloning phase for different Koopa shell paths. In this diagram you can see how I generated the paths. I always start with 14 frames of straight movement on the Koopa shell at the max Koopa shell speed. Then I start turning either clockwise or counterclockwise for up to 40 seconds. The starting configuration for the money bag coins is 4 money bags in the original position, i.e. a perfect first phase clone. When 100 coins are collected the simulation ends and I record how much time was spent to get the 100 coins. Note that timing starts when the final turn starts. Different types of crashes are also monitored. I assume that more than 20 awake money bags or more than 220 important objects will cause a game crash. And of course money bag collisions or losing the shell also counts as failures. I simulated the set path for a large field of starting XZ positions at a resolution of 4 units and all possible starting angles at a resolution of 2048 units. For each XZ angle combination I simulated 1000 different RNG seeds. Let's have a look at the results. Here you can see the average circling time to 100 coins as a function of the raw initial XZ position. This is for all angles and both circling directions. Because of the initial straight phase the different starting angles cause a large set of rings each of which represents the final relative position to the money bag. To be able to analyze the results more clearly, I changed variables to the XZ position of the center of the circling section instead, as shown in the initial diagram. Here you can see the average circling time for 100 coins as a function of the center position for all angles and for clockwise or counterclockwise circling respectively. Clearly good times require a specific distance from the money bag as well as a good relative angle. Now, while the average circling time is interesting, for single star runs you need to be quite a bit faster than average to actually beat the record. For example the circling time of the current SL100 record by Parsi is 16 seconds, which is already considerably better than average even for the best circling paths. Therefore a better metric is the probability of finishing in a certain amount of circling time. Here you can see the plots for this, for finishing in 20, 18, 16, 14 and 12 seconds of circling all for the clockwise circling direction. For clockwise circling, there is a clear optimal circling position across all goal times, which is around 2452, 5365, as indicated by the cyan circle. For counterclockwise circling, it seems that the ideal circling position shifts as the target time decreases, as shown by the two cyan circles. The upper left circle will be ideal for actual attempts at record, since you already need to get under 16 seconds of circling time for the record. The coordinates of this circle are 2032, 5173. Interestingly, it seems like clockwise and counterclockwise circling are about equally good, though positioning a clockwise circle is probably easier in runs. Here you can see what the optimal clockwise and counterclockwise circling paths look like. Before I show you what this looks like in game, I want to consider another factor, which is how to enter the inner 400 radius circle. An important factor in money back cloning is the delay between entering the inner circle and entering the outer circle, as shown by the red section in this diagram. While circling this delay stays the same since you repeat the same positions, but on the approach you can have a different delay if you enter the inner 400 radius circle before turning, so the delay might be slightly higher. When looking at the results for different initial and secondary, i.e. repeated delays, it is clear that you need a second circling delay of 24 or 25 frames. The initial delay doesn't matter as much but it's still a little bit better for it to also be 24 or 25 frames. What this means in practice is that you want to be turning before entering the inner radius, as shown in this diagram. So finally, let's have a look at the ideal circling positions for clockwise and counterclockwise circling. To make things more interesting, I'm also showing the absolute best RNG I found for each of the ideal circling positions, resulting in a circling time of under 12 seconds in both cases. In conclusion, there are some ideal circling positions that have already been more or less found from experience by runners, and the current record is already very good in terms of circling time. However, by spinning the wheel more times, the record could still be improved by several seconds. Thanks to my patrons for supporting my SM64 research. John W, Neon Fuzz, 
Widdit, Decca, Runner Cam, Dan Park, Bedronis, Brett S, Hayes, Drogi, Tabascoth, Skazzy, Tanner W, Boris, Hebo Cool, Breathe With Me, Nahawk, Never Doors, Sis, Circumark, Losviken, and Quarif.